When it comes to exploring the solar system, astronomers over the past 400 years have only discovered two major planets that were unknown to the ancients. Uranus in 1781 and Neptune in 1846. However, this doesn't mean they haven't tried. Hypothetical planets like Phaton, supposedly located between Mars and Jupiter, or Vulcan, thought to be closer to the Sun than Mercury, were once believed to be real. Additionally, there are dwarf planets like Pluto and Eris hiding beyond Neptune, and the possibility of an elusive Planet Nine that many astronomers are still searching for today. With the discovery of Uranus and Neptune, it seems our solar system is complete with eight major planets orbiting the Sun. However, there's speculation about an unknown planet on the opposite side of our star in a region we cannot directly observe. The idea of a planet in the same orbit as Earth, but permanently hidden behind the Sun, is not new. It dates back at least 2,400 years to the Greek philosopher Philolaus, who proposed the existence of a counter-Earth called Antichthon. He believed in the principles of harmony and balance in the cosmos, suggesting that there must be another Earth opposite to ours to maintain this balance. While this idea may seem bizarre, it reflects ancient theories about the structure of the universe. If such a hypothetical planet existed, it would have significant implications for our understanding of the solar system and would likely require a re-evaluation of many astronomical principles. The concept of Antichthon served as a celestial body hidden from human view, residing on the opposite side of the central fire, according to the envisioned cosmic balance by Philolaus. This hypothetical counter-Earth played a crucial role in maintaining the symmetry and harmony of the cosmos, acting as a cosmic counterpart to our own planet. While our understanding of the solar system has advanced significantly since ancient Greece, the question of whether there is an undiscovered planet directly behind the Sun persists. Despite the intriguing idea, if such a planet existed, we would likely have detected it by now. Over decades, spacecraft have been sent out into the solar system, some specifically designed to observe the Sun from various angles, yet no such world has been observed. Even the possibility of having missed it can be explained away. A counter-Earth would indeed have a gravitational effect on its surroundings, including Earth, other planets, and satellites. Researchers would detect this influence on the orbits of nearby celestial bodies. For instance, gravitational tugs on planets like Mercury or Venus would be noticeable due to the gravitational effects of each object within the solar system. The discovery of Neptune was based on predictions made from the gravitational effects it had on Uranus. From a theoretical standpoint, a counter-Earth could exist, hidden from our view on the opposite side of the Sun. However, considering the complex dynamics of the solar system, it wouldn't remain hidden for long. The solar system comprises numerous celestial objects, all moving in a dynamic cosmic dance. If a planet like Antichthon were to suddenly appear behind the Sun, its presence would likely be detected relatively quickly due to its gravitational interactions with other objects in the solar system. Indeed, a counter-Earth would not remain in its hidden position behind the Sun for long. The gravitational influence of other planets in the solar system would perturb its orbit, eventually leading to an encounter with Earth. This encounter could potentially result in a collision or close approach between the two planets. Furthermore, the presence of a counter-Earth would affect the motions of all nearby objects in the solar system, allowing us to detect it. Conversely, the gravitational influence of nearby objects, such as Venus, would also affect the counter-Earth's orbit. Venus, for example, approaches Earth as close as 40 million kilometers every 584 days, which means it would also approach the counter-Earth closely. Over time, Venus's gravitational influence, along with that of other planets like Mercury, Mars, and even Jupiter, would likely move the hidden planet 
to a position where we could directly observe it. However, there are stable positions within our planet's orbit known as Lagrange points. These points are locations in space where the gravitational forces of two large bodies, such as the Earth and the Sun, along with the orbital motion, create an equilibrium. These points are gravitationally stable, providing a potential location for a hypothetical planet like the Counter-Earth to reside without being immediately disturbed by the gravitational influence of nearby planets. Objects placed in Lagrange points tend to stay there naturally or can be kept there with minimal energy because the forces are in balance. NASA has utilized Lagrange points, most notably with the James Webb Space Telescope, which orbits the Sun at Earth's L2 Lagrange point, allowing it to stay in line with Earth's orbit with minimal fuel usage. Additionally, there are small, naturally forming objects called Earth's Trojans, orbiting within these points, with only two discovered so far, both located within Earth's L4 Lagrange point. However, while Lagrange points 4 and 5 are known to be stable, points 1, 2 and 3 are not. An object located at one of these points would eventually drift away due to the gravitational influence of other planets. It's like a ball sitting on a hill, a little push, and it will start to roll away. Therefore, we can be certain that there isn't an undiscovered planet lurking on the other side of the Sun. Although the concept of a hidden planet behind the Sun is interesting, it's best suited for the realms of science fiction. Nevertheless, the Counter-Earth theory, conceived thousands of years ago, introduced intriguing ideas that undoubtedly influenced later thinkers and discussions about the nature of the universe. I'm glad you enjoyed the discussion. If you have any more questions or need further assistance, feel free to ask. See you next time.